Hey what's up guys, Said here. Today I am in the 2018 Kia Cerato EX. So this is the mid-level variant of the Kia Cerato that you can get in Singapore. So there's the L variant which is the base variant, the EX this one which is the mid-level variant and then you have the GT line which is the top of the line variant. So all three variants of the Cerato come with the same engine okay it's a 1.6 litre Gamma MPI engine. This group of Gamma engines is actually manufactured by Hyundai but you know they use Different models use different variants of this engine. So this Kia Cerato comes with a 1.6 litre engine producing 128 horsepower, 155 newton meters of torque, comes with a 6 speed automatic transmission and does 0 to 100 in about 12.1 seconds, somewhere around there. Okay, so it's not fast at all. To put it into context, a GTR gets from 0 to 200 faster than this car gets from 0 to 100. I know that's a very stupid comparison comparing a Serato to a GTR but I just want to put it into context. Okay so anyway this being the EX variant you get more things that the L or the base variant of the Serato doesn't get. So for example in this car you get the LED daytime running lights, you get electric folding mirrors, this 8 inch infotainment system that comes with Android, Auto and Apple CarPlay. Uh, you also get rear aircon vents and uh, drive mode select and stuff like that. However, this being the mid-level variant, there are things that you don't get that you could have otherwise gotten in the GT line, which is a top-of-the-line variant. So some things that you are missing out are things like your memory seats, wireless phone charger, your sunroof. The rest are mostly cosmetic upgrades like your side skirts, rear diffuser. So it's mostly cosmetic uh, differences, okay? So in this lineup, I think this EX would be my pick because as a package, I think it's quite good in terms of the pricing and all that. Speaking of pricing, uh, I think this is where this Serato really stands out because this car competes with the Altis, competes with the Civic, the Nissan Selfie, the new Hyundai Avante, the one that just came out, the one that looks very good, and the Mazda 3. And out of all these cars, this car and the Selfie has the lowest debris, which is about 8,002 to 8,005, around there. To put that into perspective, the Altis, the Civic, the Mazda, all those cars have a depree of about 9k onwards and the highest level Serato, the GT line, the depreciation is about 9000 which is the same as the base level Altis, base level Civic, base level Mazda 3, uh, the mild hybrid sedan and it's quite close to the depree of the new Avante. So moving on to the interior, I think the interior is quite a nicely made interior okay. So even though you get um, slightly hollow feeling uh, materials they design it to look good okay and this uh, like leather or I don't know what material this is uh, it feels better than those very hard scratchy plastics that you typically get in cheaper cars okay they actually made an effort uh, when they designed this cabin you can tell okay you get uh, metal door handles as opposed to plastic okay the buttons here they are not those hard scratchy plastics like i mentioned they actually put some thought into the design of the speaker the aircon vents on the sides they are actually round and you know gives it a bit of a unique touch as opposed to a regular um you know the straight aircon vents like the one you get in the center here okay steering wheel i think it looks very very good okay the material feels good in the hands it's leather wrapped uh, the buttons also feel quite tactile um, high quality you know they don't feel like they're gonna break or anything like that they are not flimsy these uh, leather seats also they don't feel like those cheap uh, feeling leather that you get in cheaper cars okay this feels like very good quality leather they don't feel like they're gonna uh, wear out that quickly okay just overall I think they you can tell that they put effort into the design of this cabin. So in terms of practicality, I think it's quite practical. Uh, center console, not that big. You get two cup holders, some space here for you to keep more stuff. Um, there are yeah, quite a few compartments. Door bins are not the biggest, but quite usable as well. Um, so yeah, it's quite practical, I would say. Over in the back, uh, me being about 1.75 meters tall, and this seat being in my original driver's position, I do get more than one fist of knee room, okay? It's about one and a half fist of uh, knee room. It's quite good. And I also get about maybe one fist of uh, head room. Okay, so it's quite good. Center transmission in the back is not that big, so it's not very intrusive. You can fit three adults comfortably in the back. And because you get rear aircon vents, it 
you know makes it a bit more comfortable here in the back also okay so driving this uh, Kia Cerato around it's, it's more similar to a Toyota Altis than it is to a Civic uh, the reason I say that is because it's not a fun car to drive at all it's you can see they designed it to be like a city car for you know point A to point B for people who want something simple something easy to maintain something reliable because you know the engine is a very simple engine 1.6 liter no turbo transmission there's no DCT like you get in other Kias or uh, Hyundai's and the driving position is just like it's very different from a Civic. A Civic is like lower and very centered and sporty. This is not. And another reason I say that it's designed for people who want a fast free car experience is also because this car comes with a 5 year warranty from Cycle and Carriage. Uh, the warranty is transferable. If let's say you buy a used Cerato, it's transferable. That means you are still covered by the warranty but the servicing is not okay so only the first owner gets the free i think it's free service i can't remember and also this car comes with a 10-year engine warranty from cycle and carriage so you know it shows that they are confident enough in their product to offer a 10-year warranty you, you know you imagine like bmw or something offering 10-year warranty it's unlikely to happen lah, <laughs> to be honest so yeah back to the driving um the steering is actually quite sensitive but it doesn't flow like a it doesn't flow like a 3 series or something okay this is not that kind of car not a car for you to really like go for a spirited drive in and stuff like that so even though the steering is sharp and every small input that you put into the steering wheel right every small input that you make you turn a bit to the left or right the car will respond accordingly but just the overall feel it's not that fun it drives like a kia you know the, the good thing about this car is that the steering wheel on this uh ex serato ex is actually leather wrapped and the leather feels quite good it, so it feels good in your hands when you are driving and the materials uh, overall is quite good as well so like right now i'm flooring the car It's, it's quite smooth lah, I would have to say that But then again, this is a relatively new car Only like 27, almost 28,000 kilometers on the clock uh, It's very smooth, the engine is very smooth Compliance, road compliance It's it's not super compliant um, You do feel the bumps a little bit But it's not that bad It's just slightly firm just slightly not it's not a deal breaker okay it's overall still a comfortable car personally i think this car is suitable for those who want a fast free point a to point b car and more importantly a car that is not that expensive okay i think it's quite affordable uh, looking at the debris and the price maybe one more thing i want to point out is that it's not the quietest so on this kind of like slightly rougher roads there's a lot of tire noise so uh, overall i think conclusion right for this car pricing is very attractive uh it's a good looking car also practical easy to maintain it it's a very simple asian car with a good warranty program okay uh, five years warranty and 10 years engine warranty and the fact that it has uh, android auto and apple carplay also makes the driving or ownership experience that much better because android auto and apple carplay if you haven't used it before I highly recommend you try and use it because for me it's really it, it can be a deal breaker I know you can get it uh, aftermarket but the fact that the car comes with it it's I think a fantastic feature so yeah the things I like about the car pricing the looks practicality uh, the things I don't like about this car um, first of all I think it could use a bit more power slightly more power would be nice because when I'm alone in this car, I feel like the power is just adequate for me when I'm alone. You know, when you wanna like overtake or you wanna when you're joining like merging into a highway and it's on a slope, uh, you do have to push the engine a little bit, and that's me being alone in the car. So imagine if like you have a family, your car is full, then you know you really have to push this car a bit. But that's the first thing. It could use a bit more power. Okay, like when I'm driving at this kind of low speeds, it's pretty quiet, but when you get 
to a slightly higher speed maybe like 90 onwards uh, yeah it can be a bit noisy but uh, overall as a package right I think for the price you are paying you know, it's a very it's a very attractive package uh, for me personally like I mentioned you don't really have to go for the GT line unless you want the sunroof and the cosmetic bits but uh, I think this EX variant is the ideal choice you don't want to go for the L variant uh, reason because the car is quite basic so when you want to like resell when you want to sell your car in the coming years it might not be that easy it might not be that attractive anymore uh, this car you sort of future proof your car a little bit so with this variant the EX variant I think it's a fantastic car uh, with a few drawbacks but again for the price that you are paying i think it's acceptable so yeah guys that's my review of the kia serato if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video